to say I'm a big fan of the Model 3. We also have a Model Y in the family, which is great, but I still, something about being low to the ground, like, I I just, I really enjoy driving the Model 3. I think as far as like chilling and taking long trips, the Model Y is probably the best. But as my daily driver, I mean, yeah, I'm really happy with the car. I haven't felt like I want to get rid of it or trade it for another car, you know, but then this whole FSD transfer thing came up. So I really want to get your guys' thoughts below. Let me know what you think. Um, I really want to see like what other people um, have decided. To, to me, I think if you purchased your car before 2020, then you definitely want to look into this FSD transfer. Like I, this is a 2022 Model 3 and I received it actually in 2021. So December of 2021, so not that you know early, but still it's like, I don't feel like I need to get rid of it. I'm like at close to 20,000 miles on it. You know, I've been doing my services, anything that came up, you know, I've done the tire rotation. Um, try to maintain it as well as possible. So, you know, I just I kind of had the intentions to keep in this car and then really think about ever trading it in. Honestly, my intentions were when I got this car was, hey, maybe when the Cybertruck comes out, I'll trade it in for that. And with all this talk about the Cybertruck, it's like, why are they waiting for FSD transfer time limit to be up and then they're going to release the Cybertruck. It's like that that goes against everything I wanted to do. You know, my whole point was to maybe try to trade it in for the Cybertruck, but it's like they want people with FSD to trade into like a 3Y S or X, but I think the majority of the people are going to be trading in like my guess is if you have a Model 3 you're going to a Model Y. And if you have a Model Y, you're probably going to a Model Y performance or with, you know, it really depends, you know, like if it makes sense for you. If you have a Model Y with ultrasonic sensors, FSD, you may ask yourself, like, what am I getting with the trade-in? Um, if you got one of those old X's, you know, from like 2016 or like an old S that has FSD on it, this is your time to trade in. I mean, for people like that, perfect. Um, but for my situation, I just don't feel like the need for it. But then again, I feel like September 30th is gonna roll around and then I'm gonna have the need for it after that. And then are they just gonna forego that FSD? Like, isn't that kind of not fair? Yeah, so I feel like Tesla's gonna have some kind of turnaround down the line with their FSD. I really hope they do for the people that didn't take advantage of it or couldn't take advantage of it right away since they're, it just doesn't make sense for whatever reason. Yeah, so let me know what you think, guys. I, I really want to get people's thoughts on this because it's, it's a time limit thing. Decisions need to be made quick. Um, and, uh, yeah, so just been kind of going back and forth with the reasoning. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, Tesla DMV. We got FSD beta videos. We're going to do tips and tricks. We're going to, we got a right turn coming up here. We're going to talk about, uh, industry things. So thanks again for watching guys. Hit that like button and hope you have a great rest of your day.